In Section 1, we introduced the concept of risk management and the importance of managing risk throughout the project life cycle. We reinforced the importance of risk management as a process and introduced you to the Risk Management Canvas framework, which captures the stages of the risk management process. This week, we will discuss the process of identifying risks associated with your project. The concept of risk identification may seem quite easy and straightforward. However, if this is rushed and a process is not followed in identifying risks for your project, it can contribute to lost opportunities or failure of the process as a whole. So what do we mean when we say that you need to identify risks for your project? Risk identification goes beyond pinpointing a few key risks that may occur in your project. Rather, it is a systematic and detailed approach to ensuring that as many risks as possible are identified with the collaboration of stakeholders to ensure that they can be analyzed and responded to appropriately. Identifying risk is an organized approach that will help you consider the potential risks of your project. When identifying risk, you need to be thorough, which requires you to provide a clear and in-depth description of the potential risk and how it might impact on the project. For example, on a construction project, to say that the risk is a collapsing wall is substantially different from describing the risk as the wall may collapse leading to possible injury and or delay in the schedule. Do you see the difference between the two descriptions? The first is more of a statement, whereas the second provides a more detailed description in terms of cause and effect relationship. A key failing of project managers in risk identification is often the lack of description in terms of the cause-effect linkage. It is often recorded in a schedule of risks as a cost as opposed to potential occurrence of an event and the consequences of that risk. Let us now determine how we go about identifying the risk. Risks need to be identified in the early phases of the project before the project concept has been finalized. In the early phases, it is important that you not only identify all of the potential risks, but the sources of the risks as well. Let's take our building construction example. A potential risk is that the building plans have not been approved and this will delay the commencement of the project. The source of the risk would likely be the architects, as it is their responsibility to ensure that plans are submitted and approved by the necessary authorities prior to construction commencing. So where do we get information regarding the potential risks of a project? To ensure that you have identified and considered all potential risks, a good strategy is to draw on all key internal and external stakeholders and obtain information from them as well as possible solutions to the risk. Risk identification is a skill that improves through experience and practice. It is recommended to allow sufficient time to engage with a range of people with a view to gain their insights and benefit from their learning experiences into uncovering potential risk areas in your project. It is also possible to predict a risk based on experience from similar projects and the cost impact of such a risk event occurring. Always remember that no two projects are exactly the same as conditions can change depending on the project location and environment. These variables will result in different types and severity and impact of risks. Also bear in mind that risks aren't always immediately apparent and therefore risk identification is a continuous monitoring activity and a review of risks should take place throughout all stages of the project lifecycle.